Tiruvananthapuram CPM State Secretary Kodi Yeri Balakrishnan continues to shower praises on China and North Korea. Both these countries are on the path of establishing socialism, facing challenges of imperialist forces, Kodi Yeri said on Saturday. Inaugurating the CPM District Conference's delegates meet, Kodi Yeri said socialist countries like China and North Korea have been fighting the U.S.-led imperialist forces. Even now China has not become a socialist country. Post-Soviet Union collapse, imperialist forces have been on a propaganda that there's no future for socialism. Yet even after two and a half decades, socialist countries like China, Vietnam, Cuba, Korea and Lavos continue with their fight against imperialist forces. People's China has achieved major economic growth and has become the second economic power in the world. China has been contributing to world GDP. At the 19th Party Congress of Chinese Communist Party, China has made that they are in the process of establishing socialism. China is yet to become a fully socialist country. Socialism is a social system free of exploitation. China has declared to achieve poverty eradication by 2020, Cody Yeri said. Chinese Party Congress said they will not allow anyone to interfere in their domestic affairs. Similarly, China made clear that they'll respond if any country interferes with the internal matters of other countries. This shows that China has been going forward the socialist way. Countries like Vietnam and Cuba have been continuing the socialist way. North Korea is also in the process of bringing in socialism. The United States has been taking major steps against North Korea. The U.S. wants to eliminate North Korea by arming South Korea. To resist this and to ensure its survival, North Korea is forced to augment its defense power. As part of this a major share of money earmarked for development activities is being kept for defense purposes. North Korea, with its rich natural resources, can achieve major economic growth. But the U.S. is determined to prevent Korea from making it happen.